Yes, so what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. Check it out, man. Before you do anything, make sure you like the video and subscribe for more daily 2K content because I'm telling you, uh, I got some good stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks. But let's just get right to the the what what the uh the elephant in the room the thing that i feel like is killing 2k more than anything is make it makes the game boring makes the game unchallenging it makes the game noob friendly and and honestly it just makes you not even want to play the game if you if you if you play 2k or whatever like that and that is the lack of defense in this game it's not the fact that there's a lack of defense really it's just the fact that 2K does not allow you to be effective with the defense that you're playing. And what I'm saying is, when you're playing this game, a lot of times, people just hit contest. Let's just get to the meat of it. People hit too many damn contested shots in this game, especially twos. Like, last year, if you saw somebody take a contested shot and hit it, it was like, yo, he hit a contested shot. This year, you're just like, eh, whatever. It was a two. You can't stop people from making twos. I don't understand why that is. I mean... There are some possessions where you're defending people from the time that they get the ball. You're, you're causing them to stumble and, and drop the ball. They, they might almost cause turnovers and all of that, anything. And then at the end of the shot clock, out of desperation, they just throw the ball up. And, and it goes in. That's like one of the most demoralizing things on the planet when that happens. Like It's like, why am I even trying to play defense? I think that's really why a lot of people in this game just forego, just – Flat out forego defense. They're just like, hey, you know, I'm going to get there. I'll just use the reach button to try to play defense or whatever. Because when you're playing somebody and you're defending them from the time they catch the ball to the time that they shoot the ball, you even anticipating where they're going, pretty much waiting on them to get to where you are, it's demoralizing. You don't want to continue to play defense. You're like, hey, it is what it is. Or, or you end up saying, you know, he, he was going to hit that shot anyway. Or you end up saying, you know what, he's going to have to show me that he can hit that shot. That's just how it is. I, I know a lot of people don't play defense. But I think that's why a lot of people don't play defense because they feel like it just doesn't matter. Like, you can be there and you're just not allowed to be effective. If I'm not there and the guy is just killing me, that's one thing. But when I am right there in his face when he's taking the shot, that's quite another thing. And I think that's the part that just, it just triggers people beyond beyond anything and it's just like you know why why should i even try why even try i mean you got slashers slashing to the basket making making contested ass layups uh without relentless finisher you got you've got and they said they're supposed to put a fatigue in that so but but the fatigue that they put in it completely broke the relentless finisher so they had to fix that and um and so there's no fatigue associated with it now so now you can just bully your way inside if you're anywhere close to the paint and press they're actually gonna make the shot but you know, that is what it is. The other thing is you got mid-range dead eye, deep range dead eye. You can be an ordinary player and you can just hit shots in people's faces. It does not matter what the player is. If you've got deep range dead eye, and if, if, they're, if they're a sharpshooter, forget about it. You got a sharpshooter that has deep range dead eye, mid-range dead eye. You close out late, you're going to miss. I mean, they're, they're going to hit it. Most, most archetypes, if they're shooting a three, if you close out late, you might be able to affect the shot a little bit. But threes, uh, threes seem like the only thing that you can actually play some defense on in this game. If you can get there and you can press up on the right stick and you can get your hand up, then they might miss it. But uh, but if you get there late, uh, it, it still has a good chance to be green. Like, a lot of times, it's just the person missing themselves, unless you're like a glass cleaner or you're a... Um, a lockdown defender. If you're on the same side of the damn key with those guys when they shoot, they're, they, they're probably going to miss most of the time. So, I mean, that's how it should be. They shouldn't be hitting the damn shots anyway, but it is what it is. But if those same people take twos, it doesn't matter how, how much you challenge that shot. They can be damn near falling over. Most of the time, they're going to hit it. And I just feel like 2K is just bailing people out because you got, like I said, you, just, you got to make the game more new friendly, I suppose. You already can't move how you want to move. You already can't dribble like you want to dribble if you're certain archetypes. So I guess that's the great equalizer, just letting you hit contested ass shots. But at least they're twos. If they were threes and people were hitting a lot of contested threes, I think we'd have a lot more, a lot more issue. But 
people just chalk it up to like this game. It's like, hey, it was a two. It was a two, man. It is what it is. To the point when somebody's foot is on the line and they pull up and you're saying, yo, he hit that. And then everybody, it was a two. Don't even worry about it. And y'all tell me if y'all do that a lot. But the other thing is that I think that this happens, that this causes is it causes people to just play badly. They take stupid shots when they have no business taking the shot at all. Meaning, if you got a guy that hits a, hits a contested shot in the beginning of the game, as the game goes on, they're going to continue to take dumbass contested shots. A person, that, a person that takes contested shots is... is that's a such thing as a calculated contested shot, right? Where, where like you, like you said, you, you think he he's not exactly close enough to challenge it, and you might can get it off. And then, then you got other people that just take a shot. They, I'm pressing X. It doesn't matter what happens. And that's what a lot of randoms do. And because, uh, you might hear me say it a lot in my stream too, because they let him hit that, he's going to come back and take that shot again, and he's going to cost us the game. It's kind of like when I play y'all raising with randoms. They're gonna call. They're gonna take the shot again, and it doesn't matter what happens. They're gonna hit. They're gonna take the shot and blame 2K, and that's the part that I really have a problem with. Instead of blaming yourself for taking that dumbass shot, it's 2K because they let the. Well, their logic is well, they let me hit it the first 18 times I took it. So you know why can't I hit it now? It is what it is, man. I I don't know what we can do about it other than than uh, like some people don't have. Lockdown defender or uh, what is it? Lockdown defender, defensive stopper. Some people don't have that. That negates a lot of badges. It would definitely, it would definitely negate the uh, the uh, mid range dead eye badge. But nobody cares anyway because a lot of people don't have that shit and it still goes in. When I can have an 86 overall or 55 overall coming to the park that I know hadn't even smelled my career and hit shots in my face over and over, you know something is up with the game. Like I said, I, I, I think they just want to be more noob friendly to get other people to play the game. But you're not teaching people to play the game properly when you're doing something like that, when you're helping them like that. This is like, it's like helping people just for the sake of helping people, just so they'll play the game. Because we all know that if people weren't hitting these contested ass shots, they'll be getting smoked and the scores would be like, like 18 to two. I mean, you know, 18 to two in the beginning, 21 to two, 21 to five. Right now it feels like the other team is in every game because it doesn't matter what we do on defense. If they get behind, all they have to do is take a two. Take a couple twos, man, we'll get right back in it. It don't matter how bad they are. So, you know, it is what it is. I feel like that's something that kills. That it's killing 2K for the for the news because they never really learn how to play the game. And then when they play somebody that actually knows how to play defense, they get fucking smoked. And then it kills the game for somebody like me because I pride myself on defense and I'm allowed to play defense. I'm just not allowed to be effective in some situations. But uh, you guys let me know what you guys think, man. I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong. I could be right. You know, it is what it is, man. Um... Do we do they need to drop the frequency of people hitting what what, what is it the twos or the threes the two pointers or three pointers which one feels ridiculous or is it both which one feels more ridiculous to you that people just hit hit them over and over and how do you feel about or uh, what does two K need to do do they just, they just need to drop the frequency or do they just need to uh, leave it where it is or or should defensive stats actually matter and um, I mean I guess that's one other thing I only got a seventy four shot contest. So if somebody has a, a a high contested shot, maybe they're just gonna hit it in my face. I don't know. Um, I think a contested shot should be a contested shot. It shouldn't boil down to just a number. Uh, if I got a 74 shot contest, it ain't my fault that I only got that, right? But I guess other people had, you know, high 90 contests last year, so that's why those went in. Anyway, I've already talked too long, man. You guys, let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if y'all want me to do a dribble moves video, I'll do it. But I gotta ask my dog Luca. If, uh, if it's okay for me to do it because he he's the one that gave me all the moves. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, defense is killing the game, or should I say a lack of a lack of being able to play defense is, uh I feel like that's what's making the game boring for a lot of people. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, it just makes it so not really boring and uninteresting, but it just makes it so that you don't even really want to play the game because you know you're going to get bullshitted. That's really what it is. But uh, y'all let me know in the comments what you think, and I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town. Holla! 360 out this mug.